Transmission Line Electromagnetic Compatibility. Two three-phase transmission lines go side by side for 10 kilometers. Each transmission line is formed by three parallel aluminum conductors. Conductor diameter is one centimeter. Conductors are placed on the same height above the ground. Conductors are separated by one meter air clearance. Distance between the nearest conductors of two transmission lines is 18 meters. Left transmission line is energized by the three-phase current system. The current value is 250 amperes, the frequency is 50 Hz. Our task is to find the induced voltages in the right transmission line per 10 kilometers of its length. Ok, let's start quickfield now. In quickfield I create new problem. Problem name transmission line. Next. Problem type is AC magnetics, frequency is 50 Hz, length units are meters, model class is plane parallel and the transmission line length is 10 kilometers. In some cases you might need to include electric circuit in the analysis to specify conductor's connection, but in this simple model we can do without electric circuit. Finish. On the left you can see the problem pane and on the right you can see the geometry model editor window. You can draw the geometry model here or you can import the geometry model from the AutoCAD DXA file. The model is simple so I will draw it here. To draw a model first switch to the insert mode. I will draw a conductor cross-section, insert shape, circle, the conductor diameter is 0 0.01 meter, insert, close. I need two conductors more, switch to select objects mode, select the conductor, Follow to the Edit Duplicate Selection, Horizontal Displacement by 1 meter and I need two more copies. OK. Second transmission line has the same configuration of conductors, so I will use the Duplicate operation again. Select all the conductors, Edit Duplicate Selection, Displacement by 20 meters and I need one more copy. OK. Zoom to fit. Now I will move all conductors 10 meters above the ground plane. Edit, move selection, vertical displacement 10 meters. OK. Next I will draw the earth surface. Zoom out. Switch to insert mode, click and drag, then release. In real transmission line the magnetic field is distributed in infinite space, but the magnetic field fades rapidly so we may consider that at some distance away from the transmission line the magnetic field is zero. So I will change the line type to half arc and draw this boundary for the soil region and for the air. Now the geometry model is ready and we should assign labels. For labels we will specify material properties. Switch again to the select objects mode. Click to select. I have selected the block, this is the soil, so I give it label soil. Select another block, this is air. OK, select this conductor, this is first transmission line 
conductor phase A A1 let's zoom in switch off zooming mode select this conductor this is phase B first transmission line and this is phase C first transmission line and for the second transmission line this is phase A A second phase B second phase C second okay that's all for blocks but we should also assign labels to the boundaries zoom to fit hold the control button pressed to select multiple objects at the same time click here click here these edges will have label external okay Now let's specify physical properties. Double click. For the air I will specify a relative magnetic permeability of 1 and zero conductivity and zero current. Okay. Conductors are made of aluminum. Magnetic permeability is 1 and conductivity is 37 mega siemens per meter and for the phase A the total current is 250 amperes but we should specify the magnitude of the current here so multiply by the square root of 2 ok the same for the phase B1 conductor permeability 1 electrical conductivity 37 megasiemens per meter same total current but the phase angle is 120 degrees and for the phase C 1 1 37 times 10 to the power 6 total current 250 times square root of 2 and the phase angle is 240 degrees ok the second transmission line is not energized so I will specify zero total current in the conductors of the second transmission line the same for the phase B and the same for the phase C okay soil has magnetic permeability of 1 and electrical conductivity of 0 0.02 siemens per meter the transmission line currents are balanced so total current in the soil is 0 Okay. And we believe that magnetic field fades to zero at the external boundary. So I specify zero magnetic vector potential at the external boundary. Okay. The model and data are ready. And before I start the analysis, I should build the finite element mesh. Just press this button and the mesh will be constructed then save all problem files and run the analysis the problem has been solved and we can take a look at the results now here you can see the magnetic field lines and electric current density color map you can adjust the field picture and switch on for example the flux density color map let's zoom in let's adjust the scale let's run the animation 
Okay, now we can see that this is indeed the alternating magnetic field which can induce electromotive force in the conductors. Let's check it. I will use the local values speaker tool and click inside the conductor to measure the voltage drop. But first let's switch off the column map of the flux density so I can see better the conductors. Let's zoom in. Here are the conductors and if I click inside I can get the voltage drop which is 19 volts per 10 kilometers. This is for the phase A. Zoom out and zoom in. This is for the phase B. And this is for the phase C. And what will we get if we click inside the air? Zero voltage. The voltage is induced only in the conductors. What else can I calculate here? I can construct the contours to get field distribution along the contour. Let's select the earth surface. Click the XY plot. And here I can see the flux density distribution at the earth surface under the transmission line. Or I can get the current density distribution in the earth at the surface under the transmission line. And the values used to construct this XY plot you can see in the table. Core density, current density, flux density and other field parameters. And I can use contours to calculate integrals. Let's clear this contour. Zoom in. And select this conductor. Now if I follow to the integrals, I can calculate the total current. I can calculate the joule heat per 10 kilometers of line length. I can calculate the mechanical force again per 10 kilometers of line length. And other integral parameters. If you search for the transmission line electromagnetic compatibility on our website, you will find the example page. Here you can read about problem setup, browse the solution section, take a look at the resulting pictures and you can download the simulation files here. Simulation files can be opened and results may be viewed using any Quickfield edition, including Quickfield Student Edition, that you can download from our website for free.